This is Titchfield Abbey, built to house an order of monks and later renovated into an impressive Tudor mansion. The abbey was established in 1222 for a monastic order known as the White Canons. As a community, they lived a strict life of prayer and study and played a large role in the local towns and villages, tending to the people's spiritual and physical needs. The demise of the abbey came in 1537, when it was dissolved by Henry VIII. A battle over ownership of the abbey then ensued, won by Thomas Ryardsley, the first Earl of Southampton. He converted it into a lavish mansion, one that the Ryardsley family would call home and use to entertain an impressive gallery of guests. The story goes that King Henry V stayed here overnight before heading over to France, where he would go on to win the Battle of Agincourt. And he wasn't the only king to make a visit. With Edward VI, Elizabeth I, Charles I and II all spending time here. But it wasn't just royalty that frequented the Abbey. The legendary wordsmith William Shakespeare was a friend of the family and is said to have stayed here on a number of occasions. And some of his plays may have actually been performed right here for the first time. Despite now lying in ruins, the Abbey still holds much of its impressive grandeur and scale. 